Hi, I'm Gavin from Skypoint Cloud, and today we're covering ways to leverage RFM models for retail and hospitality brands. RFM stands for Recency, Frequency, and Monetary. Recency is how recently has your customer come in and engage with the brand. You can define that in different ways. It can be a purchase. It could be a response to marketing content. Frequency is how many times have your customers come in and engage with the brand. We'll get you insights into how deep their relationship with the brand is. A first time customer would need to be treated differently than somebody that's engaged with you 50 times. They know different things about who you are. Finally, monetary or the M is how much have they spent with your brand? A customer who is spending a lot in each purchase should probably be treated a little bit differently than a customer that's just spending a couple dollars each time. RFM analysis is when you start segmenting your customers based on these three vectors. Feeding up relevant content is one of the most tried and true ways to achieve better results with your marketing. If you could understand who your brand champions are, why would you treat them the same way as brand new customers or lost customers? In order to serve up relevant content to your customers, you actually have to understand who they are beyond just demographics. Customers are dynamic and their behavior is constantly changing. You need segments that capture that. RFM enables you to understand and personalize content to your customer's behavior. How are they actually engaging with your brand? Now, customers, because they're dynamic, they're always shifting what segment they might be in or what content might be relevant to them. And RFM is a great way of actually capturing that movement and that motion of your customers. Skypoint Cloud's RFM model segments your customers into 10 standard segments. Now, the whole idea and theory behind it is if you can really understand who your brand champions are, why would you treat them the exact same way as you would a brand new customer or somebody that was a customer six months ago and is lost to your brand? They all need different things from your brand and Skypoint Cloud's RFM model enables that. Now let's dive into the details of Skypoint Cloud's RFM model. First, to do RFM analysis, you need a transaction record that can tie to a customer record. In that record, you're gonna want a date, a customer ID or customer identifier, transaction details, and a dollar amount associated with that transaction. Once you have calculated the RFM values, you can then start segmenting those into five different scores. Five is going to be your highest value or best value, and one is going to be your lowest or worst value for your brand. If you could design your company to only have brand champions, your ideal RFM score would be 555. That is somebody that's come in super recently, has engaged with your brand a ton, and has spent a ton of money with you. That would be your ideal score. The reality is no brand is made up of only brand champions. So I would argue that your ideal score is whatever you have because it, as a marketer, enables you to actually understand what to offer to your customers. Here's a recent example with a donut shop brand using RFM. They've started really understanding who their customer base is more. So when somebody comes in for their first donut, they actually know to send an introduction email to this person. Let me introduce you to our brand and what our values are and what we care about. Now, somebody that's been in four or five times, they're starting to say, here's the new flavor of the month. Here's the things where you're already engaged with our brand, so we just need to feed you relevant content that you care about. And then they're also using it for, hey, we haven't seen you in a little bit. Maybe we need to start sending you a win back campaign. Maybe we need to send some discounts to entice you to come back and engage with us again. And that's how they're using RFM for their business. We'd love to hear from you. If you're using RFM at your organization already, I'd love to hear how that's going, what you're doing, how you guys are leveraging it. If not, and you're interested in starting to use it, let me know. I'd love to answer any questions you might have.